Hello, so today I'm going to be telling you everything your betta fish needs. We're going to start with tank size. So your betta fish, whether it's a female or male, needs to have at least 2.5 gallons of tank space. You can go from 2.5 gallons and above, but 5 gallons is the most recommended. In most pet shops, you will find betta fish in cups, but that doesn't mean they can live in cups or that doesn't mean they should live in cups. The reason the pet store keeps them in cups is because they are fighter fish and if they're kept together in the same tank, they will fight each other to the death. So like any other fish, they deserve and require a large tank. Now betas prefer long, short tanks and not tall, skinny tanks because since they're air breathers, they need easy access to the top. So especially if your beta is old and maybe he's sick or weak, you're going to want the water level to be pretty low so he can easily swim up to the top and get a gulp of air. So now that we've got tanks covered, we're going to move on to what decor and plants you can keep in your aquarium. So we'll start with the substrate. You can choose from all kinds of different substrates. You can use this kind that I'm using, just some clear pebbles. Or you can use sand, not sand from outside, but store-bought sand. It has to be natural. Or you can use gravel. I recommend that you use natural gravel and not the colored kind. Now the amount of gravel you have in your tank doesn't really matter, but don't put like a bunch in because you want your beta ha to have as much swimming space as possible. Now we'll move on to decor. So for decor, you should pick one out that can provide the beta with enough hiding space. Now you can use all kinds of decor, it just as long as it's fish safe. Also make sure your decor piece isn't sharp at all and doesn't have any thing that can poke your beta or rip his fins. Now we'll move on to the plants. So I recommend silk plants and live plants. If you're a beginner, I would go with silk plants instead of live plants, at least for now, because you need to get used to actually keeping a beta fish first before you actually start keeping live plants because not all live plants are easy to take care of in aquariums. You need to buy them fertilizer and give them the right light and substrate and all that. Now most people will buy plastic plants because they're the cheapest, but if you're interested in, in plastic plants and can only afford plastic plants, then try to find plastic plants that aren't super spiky and the fish can actually swim through it and you think nothing will be able to poke his eye out or rip his fins. But if you do have the money, then please get some silk plants. If you really want live plants, a some good starter live plants that are very hardy. One of them is the java fern, and there's also java moss. There's also the marble moss ball, and there's other kinds of easy plants out there that you can look up online if you really want a planted aquarium. Now, another thing your tank really needs is a heater. Beta fish are tropical fish, so they require warm water. So yeah, they require a heater unless your house is always warm. But if you're in a place where you have winter and snow and coldness, then you should get a heater, at least for the winter time. And make sure you have a thermometer so that you can keep track of the temperature in your tank just in case you need to get a heater or not. But a heater is highly recommended because it can prevent your beta fish from getting sick and make him feel very comfortable in his home. Beta fish also need their temperature to be at 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 23 or 26 degrees Celsius. Betas are hardy fish, so they don't need a filter, but you should have one unless you're going to be doing water changes like every other day or every two days. If not, then you should 
definitely get a filter or at least a sponge filter. When getting your beta and all of its things, you need to also purchase some water conditioner or you can go with purified water. I personally use water conditioner, but purified water can be healthier water for your aquarium. But if you choose water conditioner, then a highly recommended one is called Prime. You can also use other kinds of water conditioners if Prime is too expensive for you, but Prime is the best water conditioner at the moment. The next thing your beta needs is food. Don't get food that you think will be too big for your beta to swallow. A couple good pellet foods are called New Life Spectrum Beta Formula and Omega-1 Beta Buffet Pellets. You can feed your beta flakes, but it will make him bloated very easily. But if you're giving your beta pellets, then you should give him like about three to four pellets a day. With flakes, you should do a very tiny pinch. You can also purchase some freeze-dried bloodworms as a treat for them. It's also good to have some aquarium salt on hand in case your beta gets sick, because aquarium salt can be very helpful. Also, before getting your beta fish, you need to make sure you have enough money to buy all the things it needs. I put together an example of what a good beta tank looks like and everything your beta needs inside of it and around it. So that is everything you need for your beta fish. This is not a how to care for your beta fish video. I hope this video was helpful to you and that you will continue to do research about beta fish and not only just watch this video but actually look things up online and more videos up on YouTube because there's a lot of videos out there on beta fish. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to drop a like, maybe even comment down below and if you have any questions or concerns, you can comment down below that as well and also subscribe and check out my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye!